Hi there, this is Rob Hendricks with Polixo, and this is another episode in the Polixo How-To series. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be discussing file transfer, and specifically how to send a file from the client to the endpoint. Now, some terms, when we're talking about the client, we're referring to the local device that an admin initiates a remote session, so that's the machine you're sitting in front of. The endpoint is the remote device that you'll be controlling. And uh, the action here, when we're sending a file or, or dropping a file, uh, we're basically going to be dropping a file from our local uh, client into the, the, the Rima window that will be transferred to the endpoint. So let's go ahead and start a demo here. So you can see that I'm already logged into my Poixo account. I'm going to go ahead and initiate the Rima session by clicking Connect on one of the tiles of my online machines. This happens to be a Windows 10 machine. And uh, to transfer a file, um, you know, we could just drop it to the desktop, or we could also um, you know, open up File Explorer and navigate to a folder we'd like to save a file at. So I've got uh, a new, a new fo folder here that I'm going to drop a file. So on my local endpoint, I'm running a Mac, so I'm going to open up Finder, and I've got uh, some files here that I'd like to transfer. So you know, basically, I'm just going to select a file with my mouse, and I'm going to drag that over to the destination, the target folder, and I'm going to let go. And that file should begin to transfer. Now you have the ability to actually cancel the transfer if you like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let this one go through. And this file is about 2.5 megs, or just about 2 megs, so it, you know, it takes a little time to transfer. Um, so you can transfer individual files, or you can also select multiple files. Here I'm going to select 10 text files, which are rather small, they're 11K. I'm going to go ahead and drag those over. And you'll see that they begin to uh, transfer over to the remote device. Now, um, we also have a file transfer uh, function within the control panel. The control panel is accessed by tapping your control key twice. Um, you can see I have nothing transferring right now, but if I go back to my Remo window and I select, I'm going to select a little larger file here. I'm going to select these two. These are about two and a half megs each. That'll give me enough time to get over to the control panel to, to display the uh, transfer. So I'm going to go ahead and drop them and navigate over to my control panel. And you can see that you've got a progress bar of the files being transferred. And let's say that um, you know, I'd like to cancel this transfer of statistics 6.pdf. I can just hit the small x there and that file will not be transferred. Um, the same thing goes is true with the small pop-up notification. Let's do that. Um, pick up another file here. I'm going to go ahead and drop that file. Let's say that uh, you know I'm going to cancel the transfer of this uh, Remo installer 9 file. So we'll go ahead and cancel that. It's canceled. But my pending uh, transfer is still going to complete here. All right. Well, thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful.